Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. As, you know, a longtime connoisseur and, you know, fan of hip hop, I have high standards. And that's just the bottom line. When I rate an artist or a song, whoever they are, especially, you know, what defines a artist as a living legend, I go by everything. I go by beats, lyrics, flow, everything. And when I say I'm as fair as they come, when it comes to critiquing hip hop music, and I really don't see color. If you are white and you are good, you get props. If you are Hispanic and make good music, you get props. If you are black and make good music, you get props. And on the flip side, if you make whack music and you are black, I will criticize you. If you make whack music and you are white, I will criticize you. If you make whack music and you are Hispanic, I will criticize you. If you make whack music, I will criticize you no matter what color you are. But that doesn't apply to everybody because when it pertains to a certain rapper, he could put out the most mediocre or just flat out whack music or trash music and people will give this dude credit. They will say he's an all-time great. And this further proves my point that Eminem is not an all-time great and that Eminem is not a GOAT. Because I just got through listening to his new song, Houdini. I only could look bear to listen to that for like maybe a minute and I just like alright enough of this and Eminem has been that way with me for a while as I said before Eminem haven't made good music in a while and the thing is a lot of his fans they try to bully you they try to harass you they'll, they'll try to shame you They'll say you're a hater. They'll say you're a racist. They're, they're like, and I'm going to say this again. I don't value your opinion, especially when it pertains to, you know, a black created art form. Take it however you want. What it look like me caring what some dude that ain't black think about, you know, my critique of Eminem. Your opinion doesn't mean that much to me. You don't mean that much to me to care. So at the end of the day, I'm going to say what I want to say or what needs to be said. And Eminem has been getting away with this for a while. Just putting out subpar music and then getting all this praise and stuff like, oh wow, this is sensational. What? I mean, this song is just trash. When I say this song is trash water, it's trash water. But I'm glad that some people are starting to tell the truth. Because I've seen some people just say this song is just terrible. And it's, 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 it's not a good song. It's not a good song whatsoever. To say that this song is, it is mediocre, that would be nice. But just listening to this, like, I know he's... Um, I know he took the chorus from that song. I forgot who sung it. It was a... a um, it was a group that sung this song, Abracadabra. It was made in the 80s. I forgot who sung the song. It was a it was a good song. I liked that song back in the day, you know, but nevertheless, um Eminem's interpretation of this song uh made me appreciate the original version even more. And it just gotta be said about Eminem. And this is why a lot of people are getting annoyed with the Caitlin Clark theme because it's the Eminem version of Caitlin Clark. It's annoying that you can't say anything about Caitlin Clark. You can't criticize her. You're a hater. You're, you're jealous and all that stuff. I think it's laughable when somebody tell me that I'm jealous of Eminem. Jealous of what? A, a white trash rapper from Kansas? Not really Detroit? What is there to be jealous about? Ex please explain that to me. Make me under understand that. And I've had this conversation 
over and over again and you just look at his at his overall catalog like I said the best songs Eminem made he didn't put out his singles now don't get me wrong Eminem back in the day he made he made good music but as I said before Eminem was what you call a guilty pleasure you couldn't play Eminem in certain places based off his subject matter didn't really have nothing to do with him being being white because when Paul Wall came out people was bumping sitting sideways they was bumping busy busybody so him being white didn't have nothing to do with it but that's the excuse that his his fans like to use whenever you say you don't like anything he puts out and that's not going to fly with me people have the right to say how they really feel when it pertains to Marshall Bruce Matters and I'm going to continue to say what I need to say when it pertains to Marshall Bruce Matters this song is whack it isn't any good and I wish people would be honest and keep it 100 but people can't keep it 100 I'm sitting up here listening to Nas working with DJ Premier and you know, and then Snoop and the Dog Pound and the East Siders is putting out heat. And then you get subjected to listening to this garbage by Eminem. Stop it. This is further proof that Eminem ain't remotely a goat. And you got Buster Rhymes talking about he don't think nobody can fuck with Eminem. <laughs> I, I can name. <laughs> I named several rappers that can mess with him. Eminem's catalog ain't even better than Mysticals. You know, that's just real talk. But anyway, let me get out of here, man. I said enough. Yeah, I said it. And I'm out.